Alright, uh, second year here. Um, what is it like? What, what has it been like for you to be back here in Las Vegas and uh, to run the shit off and to you know, um, you know Right. Um, you know? Yeah, being back here for the second year, um, definitely, definitely a little bit more comfortable uh, on being, you know, head coach and, and having a program and knowing and what what to expect going in, what you guys are, what they're about, what you're building, the vision, those type of things. Uh, moving forward with the run and shoot offense, uh, it's something I'm excited about. Um, I know the fans in Hawaii are excited about and, and the direction that we're headed as well. Uh, I feel like they know a lot of the the schemes and the things that we're doing, they know what it looks like, and and, uh, and I know they they they, they kind of have the same feeling that I have that you know it, it it's it's an offense that will if, if done correctly will uh, will provide some spark and, and be exciting to watch. You played in it obviously, and you're coaching it. You know, four wide set verticals, four flats, whatever. What what made it so special? What makes it what makes it special? Oh, I think I think the timing, I think the the, the, the rhythm, I think the, the being on the same page, always being able to counter defenses. Um, I, I think uh, I think it's 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 really hard when, when guys are on the same page, and then and you got to go defend that, and they're they're trying to you know, cat and mouse you as the game of football goes, and, and you're doing it with guys and players, and you getting on the same page. And, expectations, obviously, what what expectations would have come back? Um, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how how fast we can put it onto onto paper. Uh, I mean, onto film uh, to come start on, in Vanderbilt. You know, uh, you know, you're gonna get an opportunity right away to showcase what you can do. Now you got to go make a count. They're gonna get, you know, they're gonna get thousands of throws. They're gonna get a thousand throws from now to the time we play Vanderbilt, and they're gonna get thousands more before you play your fifth game. And so. To make those throws count and do it when you expect to do it on Saturday against good competition, um, that's what it's about. So we'll see what happens. Has it, su has it sunk in that you're a that, that you're a head coach back at your alma mater? Has it fully sunk in? Yeah, it yeah it has it has you know in the second year, um, you know you kind of put all those you know all the all the off 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 field things that you have to do, um, you know behind you and really right now going into the second year it's all about winning so the focus is on that you want to win and you want to get get these things done so um, yeah it's, it's it's here and, and you know it's about stability and you, you want to win and the only way you get the stability is to win so, so you said that um, when you're head coach you got to do it your way you've got to take ownership of everything and that now with you taking on the offense it's, it's, everything is on you right I mean whether Everything goes right or wrong. It's pretty much on you, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, you like that? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. It feels like, as a quarterback, it feels like the ball's in your hand again. Right. And the basketball court, the point guard, it feels like you got control of the game. The ball's in your hand. So, you know, when you're calling the plays, um, you know, the ball's in my hand, and and, and and I get to control what those guys and put those guys in position. But at the same time, I, I still don't play the game. And so it's, it, it, the coaching aspect always becomes, how can you get your 18 to 22 year olds to do what you need them to do to win games? And, and that's where we're at right now. So, but yeah, Jay, you know, Jay was really excited that to know as that we, we, we talked throughout the year. And, and I told him I was going to go back to play. I'm going to go to play calling. You know, somewhere in year three is when he took over play calling. In fact, it was after a Wyoming game um, on the road, uh, tough loss. And he went to play calling, and I think we, we rolled off like four straight to get Bo eligible that year. But, uh, you know, the rest is history, and he, he still calls plays, and, and I'll do the same. What's the process for developing the culture that you want, and where, like, year two, how close are you to being where you want it to be? Uh, you, you know, I, I don't think it ever stops, right? I think, I think you're always, you're, you're consistently problem solving as it goes. But I, I think the guys have done a great job. I think I think getting knocked down and, and not staying down and, and getting an opportunity to get back up and play another season, um, you know, I think that's everything. Um, they're, they're bought in. Uh, I think uh, it, it's one of the best coaches I've been around, and, and I've been in a lot of a lot of locker rooms player as a player and now as a coach. Um, but uh, it's a credit to those guys that you know they they they. they they're bought into what we're doing here. They understand there's a standard. 
They understand that the games are hard to win. And so we don't ever dip below the standard. We try to keep guys accountable of their actions and the choices that they're making. And so um, it's all intel and winning. And so, um, but um, very happy about where these guys are at right now. You feel like.